What we need to do is to recognise that China is the largest threat, both to the world and to the United Kingdom, for freedom and democracy. Former Prime Minister Liz Truss, we talked about her with you before. She says there are extremely worrying reports about the level of infiltration of Chinese-supported forces into our democracy. And they ask that the government regards China as the largest threat facing Britain. How would you respond? Well, first of all, I really have no respect for Liz Trust. I thought her mini trust is the real blow to the British, British integrity and fiscal responsibility. So if anyone really gives heed to what Liz Trust says, he or she may fall victim to her disaster and catastrophe to the fundamental interest of the British people. Now, mm. uh, for any major country, including China and Britain, they practice espionage about each other or against each other. That's in the normal course of their business. But for anyone to really suspect that China, to the best of my knowledge, will have anything, any interest or any time and resources spent to uh, look into the proceedings in the UK Parliament, I think personally that's a huge misjudgment because I truly believe, and I spend so much time watching the proceedings of the Parliament in public TV, you can get most of it, if not all, in the public. Mm. And I watched the Liz Trust many times, spending many hours following her remarks leading to the disaster, which caused my complete loss in confidence about Liz Trust as a person, as a politician. Can I ask you a, a, a wider question, Mr. Gao, which is there's a lot of people in the UK who are concerned about China simply being too powerful in Britain. And in a sense, that's because we no longer make so many of the things that you make and you export to us, whether it's our phones or our televisions or parts of our telecommunication system or so much else, perhaps in due course our cars as well. Does the, the, in, the power of the Chinese economy inside Britain not also bring with it some kind of whip hand power over British politics eventually? Thank you very much for asking this very important question. There are several things allow me to emphasize. One is that it is a fact, it is a hard fact, that China is the largest trading partner with more than 130 nations in the world. It's not just with Britain, it's with 130 other nations, big or small, and you need to live with that fact. You cannot just fight against that megatrend in the world. Secondly, yes, China produces many things, exports many things, but about one third of the products out of China are made by American invested companies in China. Another one third about European companies or Japanese companies or South Korean companies or China's Taiwanese companies made these products in China and exported them abroad. Only about one third of the products roughly more or less are made by domestic Chinese companies. So mm. if you are worried about these exports from China to Britain, you're worried about one third produced by American companies, another mm. one third produced by other developed countries, etc. So yes, I don't yes. think you need to be agitated about that. It's Come a real fact. Can I, can, can I end with a very straightforward question? There's a big debate in Britain about how what language we use about China. Are you a competitor? Are you an ally? Are you a, are you a threat? How would you regard your relationship with Britain? First of all, between China and Britain, from the Chinese perspective, Britain is not a rival, is not a competitor, it is not an enemy, is not an adversary. Britain is just an important country to get along with in peace and in friendship and for mutual benefit. Now, how Britain looks at China, it's up to the British government and people to decide. But I think it will be completely misguided for Britain to view China as an enemy or adversary or a competitor. What do China and Britain compete with? China is the largest manufacturer of automobiles competing with Britain? No. China is the largest exporter of EV cars and will lead the whole world in EV production. Is Britain a competitor? No. China will be the biggest and most important producer and R&D in terms of semiconductor in no time. Does that mean that China competes with Britain? No. China will be the leading nation in AI revolution. Is Britain a competitor? No. So I think British government should not overestimate 
its impact on the global scene and view Britain as a rival of China. China is not. China is a fact. China is a megatrend for Britain to live with and get along with. Let's make peace. Rather